Shall we? Let us. Indeed. Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm uh, Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. That's right. Okay, so we're visiting some old friends. We really are. So yeah, we've decided to kind of go back and revisit some. We noticed that uh, we've done Saturday episodes on some of these, but we haven't done Priming the Pumps, and we talk about them regularly. So you know what? It's a good excuse to drink whiskey. We're just going to do it. So uh, we're going to do some Highlands. So um, we're getting a little series of these that are coming out that'll just be uh, the Highlands probably for a while because mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of them that um, we've gone through. Some of them we haven't actually, a couple we haven't tried yet. Yeah. And um, a couple that, you know, we sort of didn't know how to deal with kind of at the beginning of all this. Mm -hmm. So there's one that had a particularly high ABV. And uh, I think when we first started, yeah, I think that, that was did not a little go bit well. of a... <laughs> yeah, that didn't, that didn't go quite as well, so we want to revisit that one yeah. for sure. But um, what we really want to talk about tonight is uh, Glen Morangy. Yes. So uh, the Glen Mo 12. And this one really, this opened our eyes quite a bit. This was uh, when we really just got started in this whole thing. Um, and it kind of blew our minds a little bit. Yeah, it really did. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, it was a very... I hate to use the S word, but it was a smooth whiskey, yeah. and it was a, kind of the epitome of what I considered a smooth whiskey. Yeah. I think we still do. I would agree. I mean, prior to this one, we'd done the, um, oh God, what have we done at that point? We'd, um, we had done the Glenlivet. Yeah, we did the um, Glenlivet. We did the uh, the Bowmore. Yep, and we did a Macallan 12 as well. Macallan so 12. kind of where we were at that point, and then we came across this one. And I remember there being some really nice fruit notes. Again, very smooth, um, not thin, fairly viscous on the palate. So there were a few things that were really nice about this one at that point in time. Right, 40% ABV. Yeah. Um, is that a 40 or 43? I think no. that's 40. Yep, four, 43. Oh, it is 43. It is 43. Interesting. Yeah, so... Um, hmm. so the other ones we had tried up that time were probably 40% ABVs. Yeah. Oh, and, certainly. Uh, um, this, and, and this one had a little bit more going on with it that we, yeah. that we seem to really, really like. So now we've been doing this for a bit over a year, and our, mm. we've definitely gone way beyond where this was, but it's going to be interesting to kind of go back to it. Well, actually, we're coming upon two years of, of actual well, drinking whiskey, well, that's, whiskey that's for good... this. Um, we've only been doing this for a year and probably a year and a half or so now. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so we were we started this off during the whole COVID thing um, and weren't recording it initially. We were just kind of exploring whiskey and then we got the great idea or twisted idea to start recording ourselves and well, you see the results of that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it really started with the um, um, a Christmas gift. Yeah, it yeah, really uh, did, which, which, yeah, which, perfect yeah. time of year. Perfect time of year. We're, we're come upon Christmas now. That's right. So uh, it's great that we're revisiting some of this stuff. Yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Always neat to go back and see if your opinions have changed at all. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, extra points for Glenn Morangy because it was also a uh, the whiskey that Connor, Connor McLeod drank in Highlander. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. So uh, that always, that put it on my nerd radar. <laughs> There we go. All right. Okay. So, and and again, I mean, that's it's a it's a nice oily whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, it's got good legs on it. Nice color. Yeah, it's light. It's not overly colored or anything of that nature, which I do appreciate. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that nose is just classic. Yeah, it really is. It's just a classic nose. I mean, it is fruit, little citrus mm. in there, vanilla, shortbread cookie, um, a little bit of maltiness. You know, yes. you get that malty note in there. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just pleasant. Yeah, there's no peat to speak of on this one, and I would agree. There is a nice malt to it. There is like a little bit of a citrus note to it as well. Yeah. If, uh, if you're looking to, for someone to get into scotch or introduce them to a scotch, this is a great one to introduce folks to. I would agree. Yeah, it's a, there's nothing really off-putting in there. There's no um, there, there's no sharp edges to it. It's nice and soft. And I mean, price and availability on this one is fantastic. You can find this pretty much anywhere, and they make huge bottles too. Um, but I think something this size goes in the thirty mid thirties. Yeah, those uh, yeah, those large bottles I consider single serving size. That's right. 
that in a straw, you're good to go. <laughs> All right. That's a, cheers. Cheers. That never gets boring. Mm. So, a lot of vanilla, a lot of caramel, a um, little citrus note in there, a little orange zest. Mm. Get uh, a nice barrel spice on the back end too. Really do. Like a really present barrel spice. Yeah, but but a warm one, not a yeah. Not anything sharp. It's just a nice little warmth in there. Like a hug. Like exactly. You know, like a little cinnamon spice. Yeah. Oh wow. That's nice. Yeah. Mm, yeah, definitely vanilla. Mm. Definitely get the malt in there as well. And then the barrel spice comes in for me. There's a little bit of a citrus nature to it, although I can't pin it on any particular fruit. Um, but it gets me on the side of the tongue a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like an orange, but not real orangey. Yeah, exactly. Like a like an orange zest where you get a little bit mm. of that uh, yeah. um, zestiness. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, just a fabulous, well put together whiskey. Yeah. Now, second sip. I get a little bit less of the um, of the um, spice on the back end, a little bit more of the sweetness, more of the malt, and I would agree with as far as orange zest. Yeah, I think that's a good description. This is a a, a sweet whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a, a, just a nice overall sweetness to it. I uh, I I want to say it leans more toward honey, but it could just be yeah. like a simple syrup, you know, kind of maybe slightly honey note. And it's got a little bit of that to the texture, too. Yeah, it really It's not does. real thin on the texture. Uh, it's got a nice little oily nature to it. Yeah, those uh, those oils kind of stick around mm. and give you a nice, long, lingering finish with this one that is just pleasant. The nose seems to be getting more interesting as I sip it, too. Oh, yeah. It's, it's more malty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I get a little bit of that, uh, like... Uh, musky uh like a like a musky room yeah you know like a like a basement you know must yep wow that's interesting makes it interesting yeah huh yeah very cool loving it mm. okay one to five what do you think okay based on our experience to date and i mean considering single malt at large i'm going to put this one at a two and a half um, only by comparison to a lot of other whiskey at this point, I think it's a good whiskey. Um, I think it would be fantastic, as you said, to introduce somebody to single malts. Uh, this would be a really good first step. Um, but it is a first step. I think it is. Uh, there's a lot to go beyond this. So yeah, I'm going to go two and a half. Yeah, um, and uh, and I'm kind of with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at a three. Um, just because I think it is a solid whiskey, I think it's mm -hmm. one that you're going to grow beyond. Yes. Um, either you're you're either going to stay at this level, or you're going to grow beyond it. Yeah. And uh, um, anyone who's um, you know spent a little time around whiskeys and tried you know different scotches or or maybe gone into you know um, um, bourbons or you know um, Irish or whatever, um, you're gonna you're gonna find something familiar here, and it's gonna mm -hmm. be something that you're gonna you're probably gonna if you start off loving it you're gonna probably continue to love it yeah but you're gonna grow beyond it too um i don't visit this one very often yeah well and the funny thing is so you're the one that bought the first bottle mm -hmm. the one that we initially did the review on and then i went and bought a bottle having enjoyed it the first time with you as much as i did and i think since that day we one of us has always had a bottle of glenmo it is the truth so you know keep that in mind yeah i scored it at two and a half again in the big picture but the fact is we've had a bottle continuously but um but again you know as a starter whiskey this is fantastic absolutely awesome well fun revisiting this one i hope you guys enjoyed it yeah we sure did take care i'll right, we'll catch you on the next one bye bye